Hi, welcome to Reasons to Live, episode 21, a show dedicated specifically towards those of you out there who struggle with suicidal thoughts like I once did, to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, quintillions, chameleons, whatever it is, dicillion, infinite reasons why you should live. Yes, you. You are fucking amazing. Now, I have a quest two questions actually for you. Number one, and most importantly, how are you doing today? I truly hope you're doing well, because let's face it, you might not feel like it right now, but you deserve to be feeling good. You are awesome. Don't ever forget that, okay? Now, number two, what's your favorite television show? There are so many out there. I have quite a lot myself. Crocodile Hunter especially is an old favorite of mine. I love the show. And that's the thing about this reason to live. If you die, you'll never get to watch your favorite show ever again. Now, I know our shows usually aren't real besides stuff like this. They're fictional characters, but as long as they're helping us, putting a smile on our faces, giving us hope, giving us inspiration, that's truly all that matters. They may be fake, but the, but the great feelings they give you in your heart aren't fake. So... Go binge watch your favorite show. Enjoy yourself. And even if it's you don't feel like you have this great big reason to live right now, keep at it. Watch your favorite show. That can be your reason to live right now. Reason to live doesn't have to be this great big thing that we often picture it as. It can be whatever you want it to be as long as it helps you and brings you some sort of enjoyment. Now, before we get going, quick 1v1 if I might. Now, down on the link in the description below, I put five mental health resources. For our LGBT friends watching this, I put the Trevor Project and the Trans Lifeline. For those of you out there who struggle with sexual assault or anything along those lines, the National Sexual Assault Hotline. And I put the Crisis Text Line and the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline out there for you. Now, I know you've probably seen these things before and they might be just numbers to you. So here's what I want you to do. The first link in the description below is an article by BuzzFeed News that does a really, really good job that explains what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or text the crisis text line a lot better than I could. All I'm going to say is that anonymity a lot of you think that you don't have in this situation actually exists, so please give it a shot. If you're still not comfortable, I put the web pages for all the links too along with their numbers, so if you still don't feel comfortable, Try browsing their website and see what they're all about. Catch my drift? All right, thank you guys so much for watching, but more importantly, I hope my words today were able to help you in any way possible. My name is Matthew Denzali. You guys can get through this. You can get better. I know you can. I believe in you. Remember, there's always a reason to smile.